Why do we transfer negative emotions about being broke on items that we purchase? What is the bottom dollar effect? The bottom dollar effect describes our tendency to dislike products and services that exhaust our remaining budget. We are less satisfied with our purchases if they cause a strain on our finances. Why it happens? As humans, we are not purely rational when it comes to our financial decisions. We code and organize our money into different mental accounts, and therefore not all money is viewed or valued the same in our minds. When we create a budget and get near the end of the money allocated to that budget, we end up feeling more pain spending that money. Since we feel worse spending that money, we transfer those emotions onto the actual purchase, and feel as though it wasn't worth what we paid, causing us to be dissatisfied with the product. Example 1. Increased difficulty of earning makes the bottom dollar effect more prominent. When we feel like it is difficult to obtain or earn money, the pain of payment associated with spending that money, especially when it is the last of our remaining budget, increases. As a result, when we feel as though the difficulty of earning is high, the bottom dollar effect is enhanced. Alternatively, if we feel that it is easy to replenish our budgets, we are less likely to feel the bottom dollar effect. Example 2. Credit card purchases and the bottom dollar effect. Using a credit card to make purchases means that we delay the pain of payment since we don't have to pay it back until our bill comes. Unfortunately, the arrival of our credit card bills often coincides with the end of a month, which means we may be at the end of our budget. At that moment, we are less likely to remember the pleasure derived from the purchase and focus only on the pain of payment, causing us to be dissatisfied with the purchase. As such, using our credit cards may make the bottom dollar effect more prominent, because of the delay of payment. How to avoid it? We are always going to feel pain at having to give up our money, making it difficult to avoid the bottom dollar effect altogether. However, there are financial strategies that can help avoid the situation, such as making large purchases when our budget is full or using bonus income to make non-essential purchases. We may also want to pay at the point of purchase instead of waiting for our credit card bill, so that the pleasure derived from the purchase has a better chance of outweighing the pain of payment. Think twice. The bottom dollar effect describes our tendency to transfer the negative emotions associated with exhausting a budget onto our satisfaction with a purchase.